We're gonna move on to make it work this time today. I'm hoping we can do this one in pitch black and then maybe start on the save me duo. No guarantees though. We're gonna make it work this time. All right, we're gonna turn most of this stuff off, put them on one at a time. Not sure if I want a saturator that heavy. There's still something going wrong with those guitars. I'm gonna have to look at those, but we are gonna make it loud first. I feel like we're getting the hi-hat and the bass, but the snare isn't quite happening. And we're gonna move right into pitch black. For another day, I had to break out some way. Black even in the burning sun. We're getting there. I've been real focused. We should bring the enemy into here. Go from the top, see if there's any issues anywhere. Yo, look how good it thought we did. And we're gonna move into Save Me pretty soon. Uh, let's just go to the master. We don't need to add too much warmth to this one. The amount of work that these two EQs are doing is absurd. Might call it a day there. Four tracks mastered. It's probably gonna take tomorrow and Wednesday to get them all done. Well, actually, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna say there's a chance we can do it tomorrow. Today, we're getting a crazy late start. Uh, so yeah, let's keep mastering. We're moving on to Heart What Do You Know right now. Now the mix on this one is already really good. I don't wanna mess it up too much. Keep the drive at zero and just push the saturator. Mud, cut that out. Looking pretty decent. Looking pretty decent. But my heart saying no. Loses some of its edge there. Wonder if we try a different limiter here to play off of this first one. Uh, pff, this one. Uh, adaptive release. Sure. That sounds fun. But my heart saying no. I feel like that worked better. Might want to use that on like all the tracks. And then uh, I guess we'll move on to Ricochet. Ricochet. Get rid of you. Now this song's already pretty warm, so I'm not gonna want to crank the saturators here. I'm gonna bring in the mastered cruise control in here. They actually work together really well. Um, yeah, maybe that's just Ricochet done. Man, we're breezing today. Although I feel like this kind of happened when we did that second pass of mixing too. We kind of figured out, you know, the things that we most needed to do in order to make the changes we wanted to make. And I feel like that's happening right now in the mastering phase. This one's also already really warm. All right, we're gonna be able to bring down this threshold a good bit here. I know that when you're down, you can turn into some I'm liking it. I am liking it. And we're actually gonna get to hold on with only an hour and a half into today. I am a big fan of that. This, this is another really warm track to begin with, so I'll set that to zero. Okay, so this thing's we should boost the lows a lot. You know, usually I just use it as a bass, but this exact configuration just sounds really good. We're gonna take hold on into to save you. I think maybe we're just pushing this last limiter a little bit too much, but we're not even pushing it that much. We pushed it a lot further on hold on. The guitars might be a little too muddy. Cut this a little more here. What if we turn down some of these lows here? Also, the drums should come up. Doesn't feel as wide. Push all this over. Put it like here. Okay, that actually fits a lot better. I'm glad we did that. Really, really satisfied with this progress today. I have cruise control open here. We're just gonna do them in order. Uh, let's get the verse here. So the vocals should maybe turn up in cruise control. Maybe we boost something in the mids here. I'm gonna get right into fun things to do at home number 23. Bro, the side chains just weren't even happening. This is gonna help the drums so much. Alright, I'm satisfied with this. Okay, let's put George Yong in here. That might have been it. I don't know if we need to do anything else. Whoa, 
Oh, this one's really nice. So this song is good. I'm gonna export this one. This the bridge part. This song is really good. It's just sounding extra crispy, you know? Next one is Save Me. We're gonna redo this on the second chorus, I think. You know, I gotta be honest, this is the first time where I've heard the EQ that this suggested, and I was just like, man, that is just not as good as what it was before doing this. <laughs> Maybe we should just automate. I feel like that actually works really well. There's something about taking out this, you know, a little bit at 150 that really makes everything else be emphasized. Just see where that got me. Black even in the in control. Uh, those match really, really well, actually. Maybe we just turn up all of the chorus vocals by just a wee bit. Excellent, okay. Are we good? We might be good. Double check, save you. Oh, I got a time limit. I just got a text saying we're eating dinner in 25 minutes. We don't have a side chain on the rhythm guitars for the bass or the snare. Okay, dope. Wanna move quick? Okay, we got 10 minutes to finish. Hold on before I gotta go. <laughs> I'm really hoping we can do it. Check some of the quieter parts. I'm gonna call it, but we did it. We we did all 12 songs today, which is crazy. Uh, it only took five hours. Today should be a kind of fun day. We're gonna listen to the whole thing. Oh, 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 might be too quiet. Yeah, this song is groovy. Piano too soft. The first half. That's the least criticism I've ever had on a body of work that I was responsible for. We're at that part where it's really not gonna improve dramatically anymore. I'm just getting a million texts all at once with a uh, feedback on the album from my brother. Let me write these down. Bass too big, pitch black, possibly remove the piano at the end and add a section of vocals. That would be quite dramatic. I'm already in fun things to do at home number 23. Tiny adjustments bring back up the mids a little bit in the bass and down the bass on the Base. Do we dither or do we not dither? I don't I don't know what dithering actually is. <laughs> oh, in uh, so yeah, we gotta turn down this bass. Street light shining, just see where that I wonder if there's something about the toms that we can do to make them just pop a little better. Same range, what if we just lower it a little bit? Now I'm in this fight. Yeah, that's dope. So the next one is pitch black. It would sound like this with another vocal layer. Off track for another day. Yeah, I'll turn them back on. Like the thought of losing you kind of like the idea of just vocals? I'm willing to run with it and see where it takes us. I feel like this part here feels too empty without the piano. I'm not sure how to eliminate the piano once we get here. I could maybe turn them down. It's black even in the yeah. I kind of want to respect the idea that maybe there's a fifth vocal layer. Let's just uh, record it real fast. It's black even in the a little bit of a funky harmony. I'm also not warmed up at all, but I'm going to sit on it. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to keep it off. We're going to move on to Judgment Day. Only small adjustments on the bass, and then I want to hear more of the synth in the outro. Might be good on this track. I feel like it's just good. A little more automation. Do you have any like particular spots you would suggest that? You think just now should like turn up is what you're saying? Uh... Hold on, hold on. Can you hear me? Test, test, hello. Right after now ends, there's like a chord right where the cursor is now. That one chord, I just feel like it's super quiet. Let me set this to like 3 dB. I left my oh, dude, that's so good. I think you could do that same thing that you did on now on that wow. last no rest. No rest, no rest. On each of those words, I would just automate the beginning of it so it's like louder at the beginning. So it's like, you can. Should the now hit higher on like beat two instead of on now? It's like, now. Ooh. Maybe a, a little micro drum fill in there. Might have to call it a day there. I've been streaming for a long time. Actually, Suave, let me add your name in here as an assistant producer. Good day today. See you guys tomorrow, hopefully. We got four left. Yeah, that's just pretty, pretty dope. It reversed down a one -way road. The drums are a little bit too loud on the top here. A little luck, you go quite a long way. I don't know, man. I feel like that's good too. Shoot. 
put this out to like minus 30. Oh, I think we're good. I felt like this drum beat was getting lost. Hold on. There's no side chain for the snare anywhere in the entire track. That might be good. We're gonna listen to the album. I think we got time to do all these. It's really not very much. The wobbly guitar in the transition at the end could be more present. This to like five and a half. Say that's good. Now I want to check in pitch black just these pianos. I want to try having them slowly fade out. Out some way. Pitch black even in the. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna plug in. Pitch black even in the burning yeah. sun. No lack of a bitter heart. That's the note we're gonna do. Oh man. Even in the burning sun, no lack of a bitter heart. That was quite satisfying putting that harmony together. Once I escape this pitch black charade. That works really well. I'm really glad we did that though. That's spectacular. Really, really good. I'm gonna turn this up to like three and a half. That's all I wanted to do on this one. It was a pretty good week though. A lot of stuff got done. And I don't know, maybe the music is done. I have no idea. We'll find out next week, I guess. But uh, yeah. yeah. I'm out of here.